comic, get your gains. Hey, welcome back, gainers, to a super exciting episode of Comic Games. And if you're new to the show, I'm Adam. I'm Zach, and this is Imperial Darth Princess. Oh. Bow down. So we got a special episode for you guys. We got a new segment for you. So we're we're bro tanking out, right? Mm -hmm. Bro tanking out. Yeah, we're gonna share some of our fellow gainers flexing. So Flex. all of you guys that sent us some IG pictures of some of the gains you got, we're gonna be showing you them today. So stay tuned to the end of the episode. We're gonna show show you some of those sick gains, mm -hmm. and they are pretty sick. Amazing. Pretty they nice. are crazy. So uh, normally on Monday we open a mystery box with you guys, a random mystery box. We actually don't have one at the moment. It's a sad day in the Gaines household. There's been delays. But um, on, a, on a better note, actually, our friend uh, Chad RCG's auction came back up uh, a couple weekends ago, weekend ago, yeah. something like that. And we were able to pick up some crazy books from Jeff Silversmith. This is like a Monday crazy buy. Wait, crazy buy? Monday crazy buy. Yeah. So, um... We dropped somewhere around four to five hundred dollars with Jeff, I think, something like that. Something like that. Something like that. So we thought that would be a really cool thing so you guys can see what we picked up. Uh, we were super stoked. So let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Oh, what are we drinking? Oh, yeah. So we're we drinking that. Irish Death. Rest to the heathens. Yeah. Uh, what, what was it? What's, what's it? The, you got the Imperials and the first is the Rebels. Death to the Rebels, scum. Ha <laughs> ha. Rebel scum. You got some of that on your car, don't you? The rebel scum. Yeah. yeah. It's, you can't get it off, guys. It's <laughs> it stays there. All right. So is that an, is that an imperial? Oh uh, no no it's like a oh, Irish a, death. Okay. Dark smooth ale. Ah. Uh, I don't know what that means. But anyways, got I'm just gonna bit drink of beer it. In it. I'm gonna drink it till it's gone. Yeah yeah. A little bit of alcohol. A little bit of pep in your step. Ooh. Very good, guys. Good? Very good. Okay. So like I said, this one is uh, a, a, a YouTube buy we got from Jeff Silversmith. Really, really cool dude. We bought stuff from him before. Uh, he's actually a really nice guy, and he has a lot of really good books. And he's really into uh, the silver coins and stuff too, which we actually got one from him. We really enjoyed it. Yeah, so it's really, really, really cool. Really cool. Okay. It wasn't gold. Gold. It was silver. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, yeah. If you uh, buy silver, silver is actually not a bad kind of like spec on. It should be going up in price slowly over a period of time. This number should be your main investment, in my opinion. Uh, neither You're talking Chicago's. investing right now? Yeah. You're yeah. wearing a bro tank. Bro tank. You're giving people bro. advice? Yeah. So we got some cool, he's got some good stickers here. I like that. Jeff Silversmith stickers. Oh, you you yeah. want to diversify, guys. And that's how you get those gains. And you get stickers too. That's cool, man. We need to get some stickers. Sack it on that. Uh, Make me some stickers. Okay. So uh there's some really big books in here. There's some there's some big books. Big time books. And you package it very well, very easy to get into. That's how it should be. Not too much and not too little. Okay. So we got four books. Yeah. Four books. Okay. You're like, I'm going to see which ones you got. I think pull from the bottom. I think. Yeah, pull from the bottom of that. All right, I'll go first. I'll go first. Okay. We'll see. All right. So, see our first book here. We got Black Panther number two. I think second, second printing. Print. So, this is also, this is the first appearance of Shuri, but it's the second yes. printing. Yes. So, it probably has a lower print run. Wow. And it's That's interesting so cool. cover. Yeah, I like the red background. Then he's kind of got like the, the flavor flav necklace on. Flavor, 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 baby, baby. Yeah, that's cool. I like that cover. That one's cool. All right. So it says this is a fine, very fine. And it's, ooh, the Star Wars number one. Ooh. 30 center, newsstand. It's glorious. I'd probably say it's a very fine. You got some minor damage here. Definitely not near, near mint, guys. The cool thing about a lot of the YouTube auction, a lot of times the guys undergrade things just to be Sorry. just to be safe. So don't always guarantee Sorry. you're going to get a it's higher grade, but a lot of times they undergrade just to be safe. Hey, hey. hey. <laughs> yeah, Darth Princess. I've never owned one of those before, so that's such a cool book. And it, it, 
crazy if you look, Darth Vader's helmet's actually green because the comic actually came out before the movie did. And mm. they weren't sure what color Darth Vader was going to be. So First true appearance. Is that a newsstand too? It's a newsstand. Ooh, that's Could cool. That, that's so cool. Yeah, we'll probably get that graded. Yeah, yeah that's going to have to get I think graded. all of these are getting graded. Yeah, I think we're going to grade all of these. Sorry. But after that, we might sell it to you. Guys. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. This one. Oof. Be careful with that one. Yeah. So we got, um, this is Black Panther number two, the first printing. And, um, yeah, this is in good shape. This is the first, first appearance of Shuri, which, as you guys know, is super hot right now. Um, she's probably going to be the next Black Panther. I think she's a really cool character just in general. Yeah. In, she, the, in the movie, she was dope. I mean, she's really smart. She could make her own technology for the Black Panther suit. She could get, do the add-ons and everything. I mean, she's the obvious Black Panther. The next in line. And then, last book. Ooh. It's really key. Really good. It's at least probably, I say, a 9.0. Might be. It needs a press. What but, book is it, though? What book? Oh, my God. Not my favorite artist, but one of my favorite characters. First appearance of Gideon? <laughs> yeah, first appearance of Gideon. First appearance of Gideon? It's New Mutants 98. And you got first appearance of Deadpool. Really cool. I've never owned one of these books. Where I know Zach has one graded, but I've never owned one. And it's tech, not the first print of Copycat, but it's like the the other one, right? Yeah, it's the first. It, it kind of is the first appearance of Domino. That's cool. That kind of is the first appearance of Copycat. I mean, it's Copycat. Oh, it is Copycat, not Domino. That's yeah, what I meant. First appearance of Copycat. It's Copycat, but she's disguising herself as Domino, and she never showed up before. So technically, that's the first appearance of Domino, but disguised with. Spoilers, man. Then maybe they haven't read it yet. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Uh, by now, it's kind of like... It came out hey, like 20 years if ago. If you haven't read it by now, I mean, I don't feel bad. <laughs> Sorry. So, um, some crazy cool books. Thank you, Jeff. Um, definitely, we're, I think we're just going to get all those slabs and just go from there. I was really pumped to get that Shuri book. Yeah. We've yeah. been looking for it, and I couldn't find it anywhere, so... And, like you said, it's probably a 9.8, so if it's a 9.8, we get back, it's 500 plus book. It might be even more at that point. You never know. That's a nice thing when you send something to CGC and then it takes three months to get it back. Sometimes it's worth a lot more than when you originally sent it in, which is crazy. ASM 300. Thank you. Okay, so this one is actually uh, an AOK from our good friend of the show, Jose Gonzalez, uh, Spidey's okay. Powder Tumblers. Okay. Amazing dude. Awesome dude. Uh, check him out. Zach will link his information down below. Um, he does obviously all the... Um, uh, tumblers. The tumblers, yeah. The drinking glasses, but now we got these knives. Let's see, mine's upside down. Got the knives from him that he did for us. He's also doing Zippo lighters, too. Uh, bottle openers. Bottle openers. Uh, a lot of stuff, yeah. guys. And it's all, like, super high quality. Like, this stuff's, like, laser etched in here. It's not, like, a sticker on there. It's not going to wear off. No, no. Yeah. You're going to have this knife for a long time, or whichever product you buy from them. I'm going to have it forever. Yeah. I want you to bury me with it. I will. So, <laughs> well, what, what the plan is, guys, just a little in-depth about the whole thing. When Adam dies, if he ever does, we're going to shoot him out of, out of a can with that knife. Yeah, exactly. And that's how you get those games. Okay. So we got a note from him here. So, hey, Princess, hope all is well. The shirts are being made for, uh, being made by my guy. Wasn't able to find the brand I wanted. We'll send you soon as I get them. Take care. Jose. So he puts a lot of love in the shipments, the giveaways, and Ooh. actually the things that you purchase, too. Oh, you so got a you're of not going to be disappointed, guys. Oh, I love his symbol, too. His This symbol is, like, so awesome. Oh, Coco, stay away from the books. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, it's like a Black awesome. Widow, right? Kind of like a Black Widow spider. Yeah. Know, the princess will actually wear those. I guarantee you that yeah, she will wear those. They're pretty dope. Oh, I mean, cool. Design-wise, it's amazing. I think, are these coasters? Oh, we need more coasters. Yeah, I think those have got some Spidey Tumblr coasters. We need more of them. Oh, dude, he loaded this up. Thank you, Jose. Oh, mask, too. Oh, these are these are cool. Oh, dude. Oh, look at those. Oh, oh, cool, cool. But you can tell the princess is very happy. Very, very happy. Oh, those are amazing. I didn't even know he was doing masks now. You never know me. Those look like I high quality mask. masks too. Mm. Very cool. Very, very cool. So definitely, guys, 
check out uh, Spidey t Powder Tumblers. Amazing stuff. Get your guys, get you guys a tumbler. Get your guys a knife. Get you guys a, a Zippo. Next thing you know, he's gonna be doing guns too. What? Why, why not? Come on. Can you <laughs> engrave on a gun? Yeah, you right. can. You, uh -huh. you can engrave on just about anything metal. <laughs> I would maybe not do it on titanium. Oh, the princess gonna put it on? <laughs> not with a laser engraver. Okay, so um, thank you, Jose. Everybody, check him out. Uh, we got one other box here we're going to open up. This is from Mike the Collector. This is something the princess got on an auction? On an auction? Zach and I have no idea what's in this box. She tends to buy things from Mike the Collector and then he saves them over time until they're like a very large... Large box. And always good stuff. So if you guys ever get to... If you ever see Mike the Collector on an auction, which he's kind of rare, like he's not always on... Um, stop and watch it and see what he puts up because they're always good stuff. Crazy good stuff. Not only is it a collector, he's a seller, so. Yeah. No. Oh. What'd you think? If there's a slab in there? It's no, I thought enough. that was going to be like completely full. No. Huh. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Oh, bubble wrap. Hmm. Okay. I remember heat packages really, really easy to get out. I don't mind un unrolling things. Yeah, not, not bad at all. Not bad. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. Well, I'll go first. Let's see what we got. I have no idea what's in here. But if the princess brought it, you can kind of guess what it might be. Usually. So... Okay. Be careful, because they're all... I saw. Ooh, dang. Okay. So we've got X-Men number one, the variant edition. Oh, I like this one. Yeah, it's kind of like a team cover. Like, hey, we're here. This is all the people that are probably going to be in it. Be happy. Cool. I great couple characters. I could dig that one. I think I saw Cyclops, Storm, uh, Jubilee. Like, the dog's trying to... Stand on our books. Yeah, he's trying to protect them. We tra we trained her to protect the books. Okay. Um, one second. Just pull from the bottom. Okay. Pull from okay. the bottom. Okay. Okay. This is a very nice book. It's a giant size X Men one, not the really expensive one. Very. Mm. Uh, but the cover is the dope. artwork's really. I like how Storm's like I, it's blasting across with her wow. hair. Wow. This is amazing, guys. This is really really good the style of this is so she must be phoenix the green phoenix she must be maybe like, like rogue right or emma emma frost like in a weird outfit and that's storm obviously yeah i don't know who could maybe it's not we gotta let the people see it the people it's actually just like drooling all over it it's a great art it's it looks like real art it's amazing mm -hmm. it's really amazing i would like to have the cover art so if you have it Sell it to me for a good price. Okay. Oh, this is cool. X Men Black number one. I like this cover. Emma Frost, the variant. Mm. She's almost six foot, <clears throat> or she is six foot. Dang, wow. she's tall. She probably got heels on though. That's true. Do they let you when you go to jail? They let you take your picture with heels on? No, they don't. Did they let you take when you went to jail? Did you take your picture with heels on? That's a story for another time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Another giant size X Men one variant. This one's really good too. It's kind of like a face, 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 and then the three characters in action pose. Oh, I see. I didn't know they changed the costume like this. That was Jean Grey. Yeah. So and that was Emma Frost. Frost. Oh, okay. Yeah, we get to see what, what we were. I like speculating the last one better, on. but this one's actually really cool too. Yeah, that's really pretty cool. dope. Really cool. Fire. Pretty good cover to get. Okay, Let's see what we got here. Yeah. This one seems thicker. Whoa, this is cool. Oh man, X Men Two Hundred. This is a really smart book Dude, to get. This is a good cover. Gambit on the on the cover. Good job, Princess. With the bicycle cards. Yeah. That's nice detail. Is there any first appearances in that? I don't think it's the first appearance, but I'm telling you guys, stick covers like this of Gamut are going to go up in price. Yeah. 
Uh, I've been speculating this for a while. Like, the sick covers of individual characters that are just, like, amazing artwork. They're going to go up in prices. They're going to go after the first appearances. Then they're going to go after the best covers. Because guess what? They're going to pair well together. I guess what? also, you're going to put on a nice little statue behind or in front of them. It's going to ah, yeah. display very well. Uh, next book. Okay. Some There's stuff. a lot of X-Men number one. Yeah. Astonishing X-Men number one variant. You got Sci Angel yeah. or Archangel. You got Rogue and you got Psylocke. Can't go wrong with that that trio. I know why the princess bought this one. Psylocke. It's all about the Psylocke. Psylocke, Black Cat, and Darth Vader? Darth Vader. She the loves the Darth Vader. The I female think, Darth Vader? I think Kotobukiya did like a statue of a female mm. Darth Vader. And if they have, they should. This is a cool cover too. Uncanny X-Men 535. Huh. It's weird because there's no X-Men on the cover, but it's it's a good cover. It's got Thor, Loki, and then those the Warriors 3. Yeah, that's a... The Warriors huh. 3! The Warriors Thrice! I thought the Warriors 3 had a female on there, too. No, there's three dudes. The female's just extra. That's sexist. Well, it's, I don't... She's not part of the Warriors 3. Whatever. It, was her name... No, Freya's the mother. Who, oh, whatever. I'll... I'll look it up. If here. you know who it is, leave it down below. Yes. This is like Age of Apocalypse style. A lot of Age of Apocalypse characters in this. This isn't bad. This is a very action cover. I don't think this is really a traditional cover. Does Wolverine have one arm? Yep. Yeah, Age of Apocalypse. Yep. Cool. You got Wild Child right there. Yeah. He's a cool character. He's making a comeback. Yeah. Yeah. Making a, Wild Child's making a little comeback. Yeah. I, I think he didn't take it off because, I mean, I liked him. Like he's a little psychotic. Well, he's basically like a copy of like Sabretooth and uh, Wolverine, right? I think something similar. Like that. I, I don't know for sure. I just know I, Sabretooth keeps him on a leash. Yeah, as he should. <laughs> oh, that one's cool. It's like, go potty. Uncanny X Men 543. I like the artwork on this. You got Emma Frost, the White Queen, Magneto, and Cyclops. <laughs> like the white background. Yeah. Can't go wrong with a white background. The white background <laughs> really makes the actual figures pop. The drawn figures pop pretty well. Focal point. Mm. That's what it's called in the art term. I don't know enough about art to really know, but I know about focal point. This is really sick. I love the fire covers when you actually do it right. A lot of people don't. That Whoever is this cool. is, Harmon. I can't even say that name. Who is that, Phoenix? Yeah, that's Phoenix. That's the Green Phoenix. This cover is sick. Uh, the, the Uncanny, Uncanny Humans. Inhumans. Number 12. Nice. The Uncanny Inhumans number 10 was the variant cover. I like this cover. I I would almost say get that one graded if you think it's a 9.8. Because that would display very well. It's good artwork. It's very good, good artwork. artwork. Okay. We've got X-Men number 10, the variant edition. Can't tell if he's like, he's zombieing out there. Or is he just turned into like a rock man? He's kind of zombie. Yeah, they're kind of, kind of like a zombie cover. Cool cover, though. Not bad at all. I like the X-Men uh, symbol down at the bottom. Kind of leaves the top wide open. Yeah, yeah. Almost room for a sketch. Mm. Who knows? I'll have to look at the cover again. Uh, go, you okay. go ahead. Let's see what I got here. Oh, here we got another one. X-Men number nine. Not the Townsend cover. That's cool. That Wolverine's got the short ears. Oh, yeah. But almost kind of like anime style, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Just a little bit. Cool. I don't know. I, I kind of like those covers, but when they tell more of a story than that, because you can tell like they're afraid of something with big claws, or at least that's what the show is about. So this one isn't bad at all. Is it number one? It's number one. Okay. A Force, number one. That could be edition. good. Um, That's the all lady team, right? A Force? Yeah. I think yeah. so. They're supposed to be doing, I think they're going to be doing a movie on the A Force soon. I don't know who that is. I'm guessing it's the Dazzler. And then, of course, this is Medusa, Wasp. Oh, the girl from the one, oh, Runaways. I can't remember what her name is. Rogue. Wait, no, that's the Dazzler. Who's that? I don't know. And then like, Storm. Female Eternity? Mm, possibly. Uh, that'd be kind of cool. They should do a female Eternity. I don't know if Eternity actually has a sex. It's probably just both. Would that be asexual? 
I don't know. Gender neutral. There you go. Here's the last one. This one's cool. Mm. So you got X-Men number four. I think we actually have a virgin variant of this. Yeah, we did it one time, we right? We did it one time. So you got we'll Shadow Cat like with Colossus. Well, why is Colossus has fangs? He's like a de uh, he's a vampire. Is he? It, for a time. Is that a Mayhew like, cover? Well, for a time, like X Force had like all. Oh yeah, Mike Mayhew. Uh, X Force had all uh, vampire, you know, like Wolverine as a vampire, Psylocke I think as a vampire, X Twenty Three as a vampire. That's that's Wolverine. like an homage to that. Um, yeah, like, Harley Quinn Al cover, right? Altros. Yeah, Altros. Uh, Harley Quinn. Oh, yeah, Batman Harley Quinn graphic novel. Cool. And that book's getting hot, guys. <clears throat> so, ton of fire X Men books from Mike the Collector. Thank you. All those are. Were amazing, amazing books. So now we got a new segment for you. We're gonna allow some of our fellow gainers to flex on our show, <clears throat> and uh, Zach's gonna be telling you about what some of the guys got. Yeah, yeah. So, I, yeah, Jeremy Powell. Uh, I'll show you guys on the screen. Jeremy Powell got a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one on one. I think it's like some kind of retailer incentive. I might be wrong. If it's if I'm wrong, comment down below. Cool game though. It's, it's a it's fire. It's cover. really cool. It got dinosaurs. Yeah. Got different characters. Got Jenica, and some weird character in the background. Got like creeping. I like it though. I like it. Good and, pickup. And that's Jeremy Powell. Good yeah, pickup, man. Game guy. Good games. Yeah. A retailer incentive edition. I was right. And it's a cover done by Dustin Weaver. All right. And. Next one is Joe Mayet, Joe M on YouTube, and he got the Joe M. <laughs> he got the Doctor Strange. Oh, I the Squatchy cover. The Squatchy cover. Nice, dude. So those... on the Squatchy cover, you have a front and back. It's really, really dope, and it's his favorite character too. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, it's a signed and sketch by Squatchy, and it says something else. And own back cover. And it got a nine point eight, which is that's pretty crazy that it got. A 9.8. That's really good. Yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. And then we got Mark Damon gets a, our favorite, Amazing Spider-Man 194. Oh, Princess likes that. Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, First appearance of Black Cat. I think he... Did he get it graded? I think he bought it. Or is it raw? It's just raw oh, nice. right now. Just raw. <clears throat> like, having that book in any condition, yeah. graded or not, is amazing. Amazing. And then I believe the last game Ooh, like is Wreck It. Wreck It uh, shared a Wolverine number one, the Frank Miller limited series. We used to have one of those. Amazing book. Great artwork. <clears throat> and then the X Men number four. We got it back, guys. Yeah. First Omega Red. Killer book. Awesome games, guys. So, uh, yeah, those are some fire games. If any of those guys are YouTubers, Sub them up, check out their stuff because they're sharing their games with us, which is amazing. So, if any of you guys want to be uh, flexing on the Comic Gain Show, just send us your games on Instagram to Comic Gains, and we'll definitely showcase you guys. Any notes you guys want to leave in there, we'll we'll talk about how you guys got them or anything special you wanted us to say. Mm -hmm. So that's our show for the day, guys. I hope you guys liked our new segment. If you love our show, like our show, hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell so you always know when new stuff is coming out. Leave us a comment down below because we love reading your comments because we love you guys. And uh, yeah, anything else? Well, you have to share. Sharing is caring. How do you do that? You have to first go to hell. Like Dante or Magic or Ghost Rider. Control everything. Become the king or queen of hell. Come back and flex. And Lex. And that's how you get those games. Yeah. Like those three characters are at least two of them. You could, you could be at least any of them. Who's Dante? Dante's Inferno? I think oh, I think they meant like not... Dante's Peak. Oh, Dante's Peak. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, like, that's a mountain. Yeah, yeah. Dante's Inferno, though, I got that. Okay. Yeah, he goes through the nine levels of hell, and I think he comes back. I don't right. know if he comes back, but I think he does. He if should. he doesn't, if he, he didn't did, get those he should games. have. He should have. All right, guys. Everybody stay safe out there, and we will see you soon. On Wednesday, get those games. What's in the box? And show us your game. Show them. <laughs>